Praise the Lord, everyone. I pray you're having a blessed day. I just want to share the word of God with you today that blessed my heart. I was reading in Haggai 2 and 4 through 5. And the word of the Lord says, Be strong, Zerubbabel. Be strong, Jeshua, son of the high priest. Be strong, all ye people left in the land. You know, I begin to think about how we're living in these last days. And I begin to think about how sometimes it feels like there's just a few of us. We see evil at every hand. And we see that as the day draws nigh closer to the end time that our salvation is nearer than we ever believed and uh, i know that one day we will be redeemed and we will see him for who he is and we will be like him and we all have the same goal we have the same mission the same mandate we are to be witnesses of christ jesus witnesses of the power of god witnesses that the bible is true that it's still the unadulterated word of god that he still saves heals and delivers we're all the children of god he has no grandchildren uh, we're the sons and the daughters of god and uh, i begin to think about how the word of god says that he is uh, one faith one lord one baptism and he said that it's, it's the same father in us all and through us all. We, we have one father. Uh, there was one sacrifice given, Jesus Christ, the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. We're all called to be witnesses of the power of God, to give our testimony, praise God, and to exhort uh, to be the... the bidders to bid people to come to the wedding banquet and i begin to think about how the great commission jesus said go out and teach in my name preach in my name make disciples in my name he said uh go out and uh spread the gospel preach it to every creature and we all have a testimony of where he picked us up where he brought us from what he's done in our lives so we all have that testimony that we can give and we have a work of so winning to be his hands and feet to be his branches Praise God. And this is the old uh, gospel ship of Zion. It's for the lost and the dying. And uh, we're to uh, do the work of the Lord. And uh, Ephesians teaches us that we are uh, created for... Uh, he caused us because of all that Christ did. Not only did He forgive us and wash us in His blood and give us grace and truth. But we sit in heavenly places when we walk with Christ. And we were created for His workmanship, His handyship. And that He gave some apostles and prophets and evangelists and teachers for the perfecting work of the saints. And how we all have a part in the kingdom of God. None is greater and none is less. Jesus taught that through and through when he walked with his disciples he said i tell you john the baptist is the greatest but uh he said uh and and the the greatest is the least and the least is the greatest and he always uh praise god said the first shall be last and the last shall be first and uh we're all great in the kingdom of god and we have the same mission the same mandate and uh he saved us all from that sin nature tore down that wall of perdition uh praise god uh he slain the intimacy uh, of the world and the flesh and he uh empowered us with his spirit he lives inside of us and he's caused us to sit in heavenly places and uh, i begin to think about how we all are he has no grandchildren we, we have um praise god the same mandate to win souls to jesus said i come to seek and to save that which is lost and we're to tell our testimony to lift up the banner high to lift up the name of jesus he said if i be lifted up i'll draw all men and we're to tell that testimony that he saved me he picked me up out of a horrible pit up up out of the miry clay he set my feet up on a solid rock because he is that rock he is that chief cornerstone he's that foundation come on somebody he's the rock that the living waters flow from hallelujah i feel the spirit of god so the uh, don't feel like you're the the you're alone in this land because uh elijah felt that way when he went into the cave and the spirit of the lord came to him and he said i have seven thousand that never bowed a knee to the prophet of baal and uh so is the rebel and joshua they feel uh alone uh, but the word of the Lord says, be strong. He said, be strong in the power of my might, not in your own might, but in the power of his might. He says he gives strength to those that have no might and power to them that are faint. And we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. I, I, I got cold chills. I feel the Holy Ghost. So be strong. And then again, he says it again, be strong. 
uh, Joshua and Zerubbabel, all ye people left in the land, now get to work, for I am with you. We are to do the work of the Lord. We're to fulfill the great commission because we are the sons and daughters of God, and we are to make known this gospel of the good news. No matter where you're at, he's able to save you. He's able to reach. His blood reaches from the highest mountain, and it flows to the lowest valley. And it says, the Lord of hosts of armies, my spirit is among you. We need the spirit of the Lord. His presence is with us. He's guiding us, empowering us, strengthening us. Praise God. And uh, he says, my spirit is among you. We're not alone. All it takes is the spirit of God. The spirit of God drives back hell. The spirit of God. He said, where my spirit is, um, praise God, there is liberty. There is freedom. Uh, praise the Lord. And so the spirit is with us. It's not us, but it's Christ in us. And um, then it says, uh, my spirit is among you just as I promised came out of Egypt, uh, just as I brought you out of Egypt. So he is uh, faithful to his promises. And uh, the word of God never fails. He is faithful. And uh, we can rest in his promises. We can stand on his promises. Because the Bible says that every man be a liar and God be true. There's no lie in him. There's no God found in his mouth. And uh, his word is true. It is a sure foundation. And I just want to encourage you in the Lord that there's work to do, friend. I, I begin to flip over in the Bible. And I read in Matthew where they said pray to the Lord of the harvest that um, they will send out workers and send out laborers in the kingdom. That was Jesus' prayer request. He said the harvest is plenteous but the laborers are few. And uh, he's calling for laborers. He's calling for people that will labor in love, labor in the spirit, labor in prayer uh, to be his hands and feet, his mouthpiece, his vessels. He says freely you have received. Uh, praise God freely you give. And we have something to give. We have a testimony praise god we have an impartation it's he that is within us and i just want to encourage you in the lord he is calling laborers forth and he is the lord of the harvest uh praise god so uh when he calls you and uh he uh gives you that encounter and empowers you what else can we do but go hunt the souls of his people praise god God has no children, or excuse me, grandchildren. We're his children. We have the same mission. I begin to read in the word of God. He says, uh, Paul began to write the letter uh, to the church. And he said, uh, serve God with the same mind and with the same purpose. You know, and on the day of Pentecost, they were in unity. They were in one mind and one accord. We have the same purpose, friend. We have the same purpose. God bless you all. Walk in your purpose in 2021.